Have you ever played Minecraft and thought to yourself, wow, why are enchantments so boring? Well, if you ever thought that, then today's video might be something for you. Because I'm going to show you how to add your own custom enchantments to Minecraft using a plugin called Advanced Enchantments. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. And thanks a lot to the developer of Advanced Enchantments for sponsoring this video. So step one is getting advanced enchantments on your Minecraft server. It is a paid plugin, so do keep that in mind. After purchasing it, you can simply click on download now and after that, drag it into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server. Then after restarting, you should be ready to go. Now while you can create your own custom enchantments using this plugin, one of the best features about the plugin is that you already have a lot of pre-made enchantments available to you. So when in game you type the command slash a E premade, you will get a list with a couple of pre-made setups you can just download. So this one over here is the advanced custom enchantments pack and it includes more than 200 advanced enchantments. Then here we have a pvp slash action custom enchantments and here we even have one for pvp and skyblock. So depending on what kind of minecraft server you're running you might want to download different packs or you just download all of them. So let's just click on this pre-made pack Bam. To install these new files, please restart your server. So let's give it a little reboot. And when we now join the server again, and I now type slash AE list, you can see a list with all the enchantments I have just installed. There are many. Now, if after seeing all of these custom enchantments, you still think to yourself, wow, I need more. Then you can also type slash AE market. And over here, you can see community created enchantments. So let's just scroll over one, for example, this one. And here you can see what the enchantment does, how many downloads it has, also where you can apply it on. So in this case, this is an enchantment for a chest plate and then some information about the author. So this is pretty nice stuff. You can just download community created enchantments through here. So now that we've added these enchantments, how do we actually get them well there are a couple of ways if you're an admin of the server you can simply type slash ae then your own username and after that the enchantment you want so here we got an enchantment called vein miner which sounds really cool so let's try it out gonna choose vein miner i want vein miner three and then i'm simply gonna press enter and there we go we now got a vein miner three Book. Now we can see a few interesting things here. For example, the 20% success rate and 80% destroy rate. What does that mean? Well, essentially it means that if you apply this book to an item, there is an 80% chance of it destroying and not actually succeeding to get the enchantment on. Let me demonstrate. Here we got a book and here we got a pickaxe. If I now drag this book onto the pickaxe, the enchantment was unsuccessful, which means I do still have my tool, but the book is gone. A 20% chance is not huge. So let's try it again unsuccessful and there it is finally successful now we got the enchantment vein miner 3 which means i will now mine an entire ore vein let's see if it actually works and it works beautifully look at that 19 raw copper that is quite a lot actually so that works seamlessly but if you're a regular player how do you get it then well there are actually two ways one of them being an enchantment table so when we go here and interact we can put in a sword we can put in some lapis and you will see that these might look like regular enchantments so we got sharpness fire aspect and looting but when we choose one of them like for example looting three you can see that it doesn't just have looting three no, no, no. We also got Bane of Atropods. We got Unbreaking. But on top of that, Ravenous 4, Slayer 1, and Lifesteal 4. Which are, of course, custom enchantments. So they will just come with your items when you enchant them. So that is one way of obtaining them. But there's another way. And that is typing the command slash enchanter when we do that we will get the server enchanter menu and over here we're able to get a random enchantment book now while it is random you still have something to say about it because we got numerous different types of rarity so over here we have a simple enchantment which will cost us 400 xp these are xp points not xp levels so do keep that in mind i think we got enough i'm not entirely sure but i think we do 
Then we have a unique enchantment, which will cost a bit more. After that, elite, then ultimate, legendary, and last but not least, fabled, which will actually cost us 40,000 XP. That is a lot. So when we click on, for example, simple enchantment, and then we click on accept transaction, we will get this item, a simple enchanted book. Right click while holding to receive a random simple enchantment book. Okay, so let's do that. Let's grab this item. Let's right click. And there we go. We have received Hasten 2, which has an 88% success rate. That's pretty good. And it will also tell you what it does. So with this enchantment, you have a chance of gaining haste after breaking blocks. That's really useful, actually. Now, let's see what other type of enchantments we can get. So I'm also going to grab a unique one. I'm going to grab an elite one, ultimate, legendary. We want them all. There we go. And let's open them. It's like an unboxing. Isn't that fun? So let's try the unique enchantment book. There we go. We got Ward 1, which only has a 64% success rate, but it gives you a chance to absorb enemy damage. That is really good. Now for the elite one, we got Magnet 1. Ooh, that sounds cool. Your attack pulls players towards you. Nice. That's gonna make PvP very interesting. Then we got Ultimate. So let's see. Auto Reel 2. Automatically reels the fishing rod when it gets a bite. AFK farms are going next level. Cool stuff. Then the legendary one. Swine 4. Make your enemy bleed. Oh, that is cool. Well, I mean, not the bleeding parts, but it means they slowly take damage. So that is pretty cool. And then we got Fabled. So let's see what we get. If we do Fabled, restore 4. Upon breaking, item has a chance to lose this enchantment and repair half of its durability. That is pretty cool. And because it is restore 4, I assume the chance of it actually restoring is pretty high. Now, inside of the server enchanter menu we also have the tinkerer and the alchemist now the tinkerer allows you to trade books for magic dust and xp when we go here and when we put in a book for example hasten 2 you can see we will get a simple secret dust and when we put in another one we will get a unique secret dust and then this will be an elite secret dust yeah there we go so let's just put in these three let's accept the trade there we go and then let's confirm the transaction and there we go we now now got three secret dust. Now what you can do with this, I will show you in a bit. But in the server enchanter menu again, we also have the alchemist. And the alchemist allows you to combine books and magic dust. So let's click to visit. And I don't think I have anything I can combine. I don't think this will work in any way, shape or form. No, it will not. So over here, I have two bleed two books. Oh my, the success rate on this one is really low. Only 4% chance. That is absolutely awful. But we can combine both of these bleed two books to one bleed three book with a 36% success rate. So let's do this. It will cost 1440 XP, which is quite a lot. But then again, I think I'm able to handle. So let's click and there we go. Our new book is ready. Okay, so next, let's take a look at some custom items. Because yes, even though this is a custom enchantments plugin, it also adds some custom items that of course are related to enchantments. So what you want to type to get custom items is slash AE gif item, then my username, and then the item you want. But let's choose, for example, the black scroll. I want one of them and I'm just gonna type 100. So this is a black scroll and it removes an enchantment or an item and converts it into a 100% success book. That is why I typed 100% at the end. When I type 70, it will turn it into a 70% success book, which means this you can use to remove enchantments from an item. Now, what you can also give yourself is something we call secrets. So let's give a lead secret. There we go. We got an elite secret dust. We need to right click to open it. And we got mystery dust, which is a filled byproduct of magic dust. But if you're able to get magic dust, it will look like this. So this is elite magic dust. And it can give plus 8% success to any elite enchantment book. So back in the server enchanter, I'm going to get an elite book. There we go. I'm going to open this one up. I got poison four. Look at that. A 41% success rate. And now I can just grab it, put it on there. And now it is a 49% success rate. Now in that same way, there is also something called weapon enchantment orbs. These have a 90% success rate. And this will give seven extra enchantment slots to a weapon. You can also have these for tools or armor. And it basically makes it so that you can have more enchantments on a single item. So that's pretty cool stuff. Now look 
like you can see, there are way more items for you to explore. So definitely check them out. They're really cool. Now, if you want to edit some enchantments, you can simply do that in game. So by typing slash AE editor, we will actually get a gigantic enchantment editor menu. And over here, you will see all the enchantments that are currently inside of your game. So let's just click on a random one, for example, heavy and when we right click i'm actually able to edit it over here so we can change the display name we can change the description which basically explains what it does we can choose what the enchantment actually applies to so in this case that is armor and then here we got the type of enchantment it is the group it belongs to so in this case ultimate but you can also choose legendary or elite or simple and then we got applies so in this case all armor and levels now to actually understand how these enchantments work exactly, we have to take a look at the config. So inside of the plugins folder of your Minecraft server, you will now also have an advanced enchantments folder. Now inside of that folder, you have a bunch of config files. So for the fun of it, let's take a look at the enchantments.yml file. So let's scroll down a bit and over here, you will see these custom enchantments. So this is the auto real enchantment. Over here, you can also change the display name, the description applies to just all the basic information. And then beneath that, we got the levels. So in this case, we got four levels. The fact it will get is auto real and level one, two, and three have a 25, 50, and 75% chance while level four doesn't have any chance parameter anymore, meaning that it is just 100%. Now, if you want to know more about how to create your own completely custom enchantment, I will leave a link to this wiki page down below, but it has a huge and in-detailed explanation on how it all exactly works. Now, something that is also very important when making a custom enchantment is the effects, because these are are all different things you can use while making an enchantment. So for example, here we got the auto real option that we just saw. But we also got add money options, add health options, bleed, blood, boost, block break, and the list goes on. There are so many effects you can choose from. I would say the possibilities are close to endless. So to create an enchantment of your own, the easiest way would just be to copy one of these configs, paste it in, and then change information accordingly. So just give it a different name, display name, description, and then add your own effects, your own chances, and actually turn it into something unique. Anyways, that is gonna be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. You actually would. Also, an absolute massive shout out to my channel members for the incredible support. Thank you all so much. And then... I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.